Hello, this is Diagon and welcome back to another, well, the second part review of Star Citizen. So, somebody commented on my previous video, I believe his name was Danny or Dean, I don't know, but anyway, Danny or Dean, uh, thank you very much for the tips I tried out. So apparently in the, in the ship customization table here, you can do more than I thought, so... You have to drag the ship into the viewer here and then you can uh, you can turn it and view it and I uh, yeah it, it wasn't that straightforward I couldn't figure it out when I was just uh, exper experimenting by myself so now I can go into the tabs like weapons and you can uh, you can just pick the parts off the way you want it so now like I did this before though and I took off the tractor beam and I could not get it back on anymore so let me see if I can manage this time so if you select the thing see you can drag it off and put it over here but I wanna see if I can get it to work this time so last time I couldn't get it back on oh it has another class 2b mount gun turret so last time i couldn't get it back on and it would seem that it's like that again this time so it was on before but once you take it off it doesn't seem to want to reattach anymore or i don't know maybe i'm i'm hovering over the wrong orb or something i I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Like I can take it off as you saw, but then to get it back on and oh jeez, like the turning of this ship is. So let me see if I can retouch this, but I is there maybe another attachment point that I'm just looking over? I don't know if any of you guys have any idea like why I can take it off but not put it back on let me know so I can retouch this so to move on you got the ammo tab and now I can actually uh, attach them to the guns if I have the right ammo but I don't think this gun takes that ammo no see uh, the power is still empty I guess that's because we only have one power drive uh, here we go, the engine. Uh, again, you don't really get too much information about what, like, how big it is in comparison or how far you will get. So you can see at the bottom left there, it says port power plant and compatible sizes two and three. I guess once uh, all the upgrades are available, I'll be able to replace this with a size two or three um, engine, but like, what it can do I have no idea it doesn't say uh, thruster so this is my main engine here I'll be able to uh, exchange that as well once uh, everything's in avionics I don't know what that does actually landing system I guess you can also change that cargo uh, well, I don't think that's interchangeable in this one. And then paints, but uh, that one is also empty. So, oh, wrong button there. Uh, so, let's, so also what I found out, what Danny or Dean also told me was that I actually can fly. I kind of just clicked away the menu when I was in the fighter here the first time, but, okay, let's move away from the ladder so we don't glitch out again. Um, but apparently I can fly. I had no idea. I thought it was, you know, I, when I bought the ship, it said I didn't have the, the Arena Commander module, but apparently I can use it. So let's get in there and see how this baby flies. I've never flown before, so I have no idea what to expect. I'm going to be using my game controller for this, though, um, because... Flying with a keyboard is just impossible. Okay, so let's see. P 
potential thousands of potential friends or let's just do with the drones for now because I free flight okay so we can just fly around explore on your own without the pressure of lasers scorching your canopy oh yeah that's that's not a good thing vanduul swarm okay so here we have to hold off a vanduul swarm classic race and free flight okay so these are the three options um uh, I guess we'll go for the Vanduul Swarm, see what that is. Okay, so I'm switching to my gamepad now. Here we are. Okay, so how does this work? Game starts. Okay, so this is forward. Okay. Oh, oh, m multiple hostiles. Oh, oh, what's happening? Joint Vanduul Scavenger. Where's contact? Oh, down there. I can see you. Oh, yeah. Uh, how does... The controls are a bit tricky, though. So, okay, there they are. Oh, am I getting hammered? Oh no, that's my own laser. Okay, let's... How do I... Okay, so how do I lock on to these targets? Oh, 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 I'm passing out. Okay, so it is a lot of button combinations. Oh, wow, I'm passing out. Hmm... Where are all the baddies? Okay, there they are. So, you can lock on to, uh, to enemies and stuff, but I should really look into the... Uh, I got you, I got you! No, I have no idea what I'm shooting at here. Oh! Oh, almost crashed into him. Okay, so it's obvious that I still need a lot more practice. I, uh, the, the controls, yeah, you have to get used to them. So like I said, there's a lot of key bindings to, to uh, a limited number of buttons on this uh, gamepad. I don't really know what the optimal like way to play this would be because there's so much to keep in mind. Oh, let's see if I can get this guy. No, I cannot. Uh, where did... Oh, there he is. So, it is a game of skill, really. You need to, you need to know what you're doing here. Because if you don't, you're just hope, hopefully lost. So, it's running pretty smooth, as you can see. No issues there. Oh, where did he go? Shields? What's up with my shields? So I still need to figure out how to uh, how to like lock on to targets. Uh, is this how I do? No. Oh, that was something else. Uh, how? Okay, let me just see here. How do I lock on to targets? Key bindings. Uh, missiles let me double tap match target velocity cycle cycle next target headlock okay so I think I've got it uh, let's see uh, is it this No, because normally you should get this rectangle saying, you know, you've got luck and then it'll trace it and you can, it kind of leads your shot then, but yeah, it doesn't really, 
uh, seem to be working that well. Okay, well, that's gonna be it. A short little piece here just to show you what's happening at the moment. Uh, as I said, it's an enjoyable experience, but I'm gonna need a lot more practice and I will be practicing a lot more because by the time this game comes out, I want to be the bee's knees in, in, in... Oh, that was close. I want to be the bee's knees at uh, at uh, this game so I don't get shot out of the sky like first chance possible. So, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm real distracted with the shooting here. I, I want to get this guy, but I don't know. I, I'm not good enough yet. So I hope you enjoyed this brief explanation of what is what um, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye now.